I'm going to the next one, which is uh, representations like structures. Um, now, in fact, structures could be hierarchies like trees, hierarchies of tasks, hierarchies of roles, hierarchies of object types or object containers, and another structure could be a flow, data flow or a workflow or an object flow. And, and it just depends on, on what, what you are doing. So I gave you some examples of a, a tree, of a hierarchy, and by the way, this is from another task analysis approach from Fabio Paterno, but it's the same thing. Actually, I showed you already a very small hierarchy when I showed you the hierarchy of paying for or of ordering coffee. It's first order coffee, then pay, and payment means um, giving money and getting money back. So this is a structure, but it could be more complicated, and you could draw it this way if you want. And you could also use a, 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 a flow. This is a workflow. And by the way, this is a flow for ordering a book by, by, a, by a teacher. Um, and, and the teacher of the university orders a book, so there's a bookseller involved, and there's also the financial administrator of the, de of the faculty involved. Right? So I could imagine that you could use this type of relation uh, to show what's going on between the customer and the, uh, and the, um, the, the person at the desk who is selling and the barista. Right? Because there are several people involved in, in ordering and paying for a coffee. So uh, somebody does something. By the way, this is triggered. There's an event here. An event is a new term. And the new term triggers the teacher to choose a book. So the new term is an event from outside, you could say. Now the teacher chooses a book and orders the book. Now ordering the book means that something is moving, an order, this is an object, is moving to the bookseller, you see, so now the order is moving to the bookseller, and at the same time a request is going to the budget, to the administrator, the, the guy who keeps the budget. Right? And this is going together, we made a symbol here, and then the bookseller could send a reference book, I think, or could, no, could send the book to the teacher who receives it. So now the object is a book. The object is moved from one to the other. And at the same time, a bill is moved from the bookseller to the administrator. So the administrator now receives the bill. And then the administrator registers the purchase and pays the bill. And in fact, we could continue saying money is now going to the bookseller. It's just part of a task flow here, and it could be useful to model well, buying a coffee in the shop in, in this way, because you have somebody who is like the, uh, selling the coffee, so this, this is the cashier, you have another person who is making the coffee, the barista, and you have a client, uh, a customer who is ordering, but you could also say the customer is just an event, we put a customer here, it's up to you. But it would tell you the story of what's going on in the shop. Right? So I, I just propose that you consider at least this type of representation seriously for the shop. But you could also consider this one. It depends, in a way, right? So, okay. Um, now, the, the other representations are what I call media registration, is to illustrate knowledge that cannot be formally modeled. So, a picture tells you a lot of things that you might not be able to model or not be able to model yet, but it helps a lot. So, it could be video, soundtrack, or picture. I just gave examples. So, this is a small video of somebody doing something in a shop. Not selling coffee, but something different, right? Okay, so, but it might help to have like a 20-second video of some activities that really make sense to model. Or you could uh, make a, a, an outline of the shop. By the way, this is an outline of a control room in, in, a, in, a, in a plant, but, but you, you might draw an outline of the coffee shop. Just a sketch, but it tells you where people are and what people are doing, right? Uh, and you could show objects. Uh, and by the way, these are objects that, that were actually built by my student as a design proposal. So these were remote controls in different ways that should look like a, an egg or something like that. And, and they made different proposals. So it's, it, it's just a, a, a representation of things that sometimes you can better show them than explain in words or in tables. Uh, and this is another one that you now recognize, hopefully, right? So this is an object which tells us some things, probably you can read, I can only read this one, 
and I can understand that I got two stamps and that there are eight more stamps to go before I get my cookie, right? Okay. <coughs>